Hello viewers, for DIYers here with another tutorial video for everyone. In this particular video here, I'll be doing a demonstration on how to add an extra air tank to your air compressor. So as you can see here, I'm using a smaller air compressor, and this can be somewhat of a problem when using air tools, but even more of a problem when using a paint gun. Air tools aren't such an issue, because you can use the tools while the air compressor comes back up to pressure. A paint gun on the other hand, if you're waiting for the pressure to come back up halfway through an application, then the paint may not blend or flow properly. Some of you may remember the tutorial I produced earlier this year, salvaging a broken air compressor and turning it into a portable air tank, also known as an air pig. If you're wondering how to set that up, be sure to check out my tutorial for that. Here is an old retractable nylon airline, which came with the air compressor. It has both male and female quick coupler fittings. The female quick disconnect fitting will need to be removed using the correct size wrenches. I went down to my local tool supplier and purchased both male and female quick couplers. The male version of the quick disconnect coupler also has a male and female threaded portion. So you may need a mixture between the two depending on what is required on your air line. I have more fittings than what is required here as they will be used on other air tools. Ensure that threaded fitting is clean and apply Teflon tape. When looking directly at the fitting, the Teflon tape needs to be wrapped in a clockwise direction. Two or three wraps is all that's needed. Teflon tape serves two purposes. One is to help seal the threads and the other is to provide lubrication ensuring the fitting can be tightened, therefore increasing the seal of the connection. As for the choice of hose to connect the two tanks, it's based on your personal preference. This is what I had laying around, but you can also use a short rubber hose intended for an air compressor as well. The added air tank increases system volume. While the compressor does run slightly longer to come up to pressure, it will turn on less frequently and allow longer cool down cycles when using air tools steadily. Moving on to the brass female T, this is used to connect the tank to the air compressor and also provide a hookup for the air tools. Here's a quick mock-up and how it'll be set up. I will be using the old female quick coupler and also purchased a new one as well. For both of these couplers, they do have brass couplers too. Again, apply Teflon tape to each of the connections. As a tip, there's a few different types of quick couplers available. The version I have here is an M style, and I am keeping all the fittings the same to currently match what I have. All fittings are a quarter inch national pipe thread or NPT for short. When looking at the fitting, you'll notice it's tapered. So we need a MIP or FIP fitting. MIP means male iron pipe or male international pipe and FIP means female iron pipe or female international pipe. Ensure all the fittings are tight. I have also peeled away the access Teflon tape for a clean look. Now for testing, hook up the T fitting to the air compressor. Considering there is no female fitting on the connection line between the extra tank and the air compressor, this will blow air when connected to a pressurized source. So, connect this line to an empty tank first, and then to the air compressor. Starting the air compressor, allow the system to come up to pressure and monitor the gauge for a pressure drop which would indicate a leak. If a leak is present, listen to the connections, and you can also use a spray bottle with a soap and water mixture to spray onto the connection and watch for bubbling. Bubbling will indicate a leak is present, the connection may need to be tightened or reseated. New videos are released every week on my channel. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It's a huge help to me and leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. And thank you for watching. 